What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Legacy Metal Hawk. So this is the latest in the wave of Legacy Evolution which is kind of the continuation of the Legacy line. And this one is actually a really heavy retool of the uh, Cyclonus figure from way back, I think it was from Kingdom, the War for Cybertron Kingdom line. But it's pretty heavily retooled. We got some new parts here. Definitely a new head sculpt there. Let's take a look at that. Silver face with blue eyes. Yellow for the helmet. You got a little bit of red paint here and then the Autobot Tampo. Red paint for the knees, silver here. Going to the back, you do have some red paint on the wings. Not the whole thing, just these parts right here. I'm not even sure why that's painted, but it is. And we'll see a little bit more paint actually in the robot mode or in the vehicle mode. But you can see a little bit of blue paint there. For his articulation, the head can go up to there. Now, if you kind of let it separate a little bit, you can get a little bit further up. It gets up to there, down to there. Rotates around. So he, he does get actually a little up and down compared to most of these Voyagers don't get that. Rotates around at the shoulders, goes up to there. You got that cover down piece just like we had on Cyclonus. Arms are shaped differently though. I don't love the gaps there in the arms and the kibble sticking out here and here. Um, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit of a darker plastic, so you don't really see it. But rotation at the bicep and then a 90 degree bend at the elbow. The wrist can go in and out. It doesn't lock in place there, so I kind of wish it did. You have a rotation at the lower waist right here. You have legs can go up to there. Back to there, out to the side. A rotation at a cut joint at the thigh. A little, little weird looking. You could get a uh, more than 90 degree bend because there's actually two joints here for the knee. But basically up to there. And, and just to show you, you can bend there if you wanted to. But that doesn't really help you with anything. <laughs> you have ankle tilt. And you have a pivot forward and backward on this. Now as far as accessories, you do get a couple of guns here. They're just done in a <laughs> gray plastic and unfortunately it is a swirly gray plastic. That is my most least favorite thing on any Transformer ever is gray plastic. Got a lot of gappiness here also on these weapons. I don't love that. I thought maybe they would go together or something but I guess you could do that. So you can do that. Um, I actually prefer that, but you can use both in the separate hands. But now that I've discovered that, oh, I guess they are meant to go together. Okay. Looks like they fit together. So you can display them as one gun. I much prefer that. You also get this sword done in the same swirly really gray plastic, but he can hold this. And it's actually not a terrible sculpt. It's just a terrible colored plastic, but there you go for those weapons, pretty good looking. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Basically the exact same size because they're both Voyagers. Um, it looks nice actually. Now I know he's from a different continuity, just wanted to show you next to Optimus. All right, now let's get Metal Hawk transformed into his jet mode. And it does have some similarities with Cyclonus, but some differences too. Go ahead and fold the hands in. We can take these wings and extend them outwards. They're going to plug into the bottom here. So just get that plugged back into the arm. Same on this side, open this up. And that's going to plug right back into the arm. So those are kind of ready. Go ahead and open up his front and back. So basically they'll open up like this. These are actually pegged in just so knowing going back into the robot mode. This is pegged into here, so the front and back kind of hold each other together. Rotate this around, open up the nose cone, tab that in, and they can close this back down. This is going to come down and sit like that. And for now, you can leave these up. But we are going to end up rotating this. Come to the legs here. We're going to lift up on this panel here fold out this panel, rotate this one in, fold this, uh, actually before you fold that down, 
I'm going to accordion this leg inwards until you get to that slot right there. Now bring this down and then bring that in. And again, I'm not sure why they painted this piece. They could have just made the whole piece blue like the rest of this, but this is painted right here. And then this, I guess, blue plastic is painted red. All right, continuing on, same thing over here. Fold that open, fold this in. Make sure you collapse the leg down. Fold that back down. And then you're gonna tab the two legs together like that. It's gonna sit just like that. I'm gonna rotate this around so it comes to the back. Go ahead and plug that in right there, the tab. Go ahead and take the wings and they're gonna plug in right here. So line that up. Same on the front, other side. And there is Metal Hawk in jet mode. Not too bad looking actually, pretty good for a you know, semi-retool. Like I mentioned, there's red paint here. A little bit of red paint on this wing, which i do not not really sure why they, they did. Red paint on the cockpit. Blue paint right here. Um, considering what this is, it's got a considerable amount of paint, so I'm kind of surprised. You can store the weapons if you take the gun that we were using in robot mode, separate it. Those will plug in right here on the sides. And same on this side. Plug in right here. And then you can take his sword and that will plug in right here. And you can fly around with those and I'm sure you can use blast effects and all that, but there you go for Metal Hawk. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Nice big jet. Um, seems to scale with the other jets in the retail line. Fits in nicely. So final recommendations on the Transformers Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk. I'm going to give this guy a 4 out of 5. I'm going to recommend it. I think it's a pretty good figure. I do like the overall look of this guy. They kind of nail the character. The weapons are nice looking with the exception of the gray, swirly gray plastic they use, but they've got some nice sculpted detail. Initially, I was disappointed with the gun because I thought it looked dumb, you know, with all the gaps. But once I figured out you could actually put it together, then I was kind of happy about it. The sword also looks nice, nice sculpted detail. Again, I just wish it wasn't this plain gray. Figure itself looks pretty good. Nice articulation. And overall, not too bad. There's a little bit of gaps. This one in particular bothers me the most in the forearm. And then this kibble here on the arm. And then a little bit of a hole in the knee, but that's kind of the same as what we got with the Cyclonus. So pretty good for Legacy Evolution. One of the better figures from the collection. I wanted to say thank you to G. Tony, who allowed me to take a look at this. This is actually his figure. It's going to go back to him. Uh, but he let me to take a review of it before I send it back. So thanks to him. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.